congratulations to all of us and to you for <laughs> attending a full day of work today with right? the weather we had. I mean, it was yeah. in the 80s. Didn't feel like the first full day of spring, did it? But consider the turnaround we had. Remember how cold it was? Monday morning, it was 30 degrees. Today, we topped out at 82 in the Triangle, 86 down in Fayetteville. And guess what? There's a cold front tonight, so those 80s are going to go away, and the 30 will be back in just a couple of mornings. But not yet. You can still enjoy tonight. It's still 80 in Wilson, 82 in Clinton, low 80s in Chatham County. It is a little cooler up to the north because of more clouds and because that's where our cold front is kind of draped right now. As for the rain, we are still expecting some showers and storms later tonight. Those are starting to pop up to the west, but I want you to watch them. Number one, I mean, they're already a little to our south, so that's where, where we expect a lot of the activity to be later tonight, mainly south of the triangle. But if you also look, they're kind of moving off to the southeast, so these exact storms are going to miss us, but we will see some more develop to our west as we head throughout the evening. So we haven't missed the rain. It's just coming a little later. So you still got several dry hours. By fact, by eight o'clock, we're still dry in 74. That sounds pretty good. 69 by 10. That's when we'll start to see a few showers pop up and then they'll increase in the overnight hours. But our severe weather threat is very low. So I don't think this is an overnight storm system where you're going to have to stay up all night worried. There will be some rain and at times it could be heavy with some rumbles of thunder, but something that keeps us up all night. I don't think it's that type of storm. There's our cold front coming through and we'll leave a couple showers around for the early morning commute. Otherwise a dry day tomorrow and sure it's not going to start around 30 tomorrow morning, but it's not going to get back into the 70s and 80s like it was today. So it'll be a cooler day tomorrow. There's the frontal boundary kind of draped across the mid Atlantic. That'll drop through these storms in this area of low pressure are going to move through. So it's kind of a one two punch with the front and the storms. But by tomorrow, most of the day is dry and noticeably cooler. If you leave early for work, I'm talking 5, 6, maybe 7 a.m., there could be a couple showers left over, but after that, we're dry. The sun comes back out as high pressure builds back in, but be careful what we ask for because this high is coming from Canada. It'll bring us our coldest day Thursday, and Thursday mornings, the morning, we're back to around 30. We've struggled to get into the 50s during the day, but even that doesn't last long because high pressure will continue to shift on us, bringing our winds back out of the south on Friday. And that's when we start to warm back up into the 60s with plenty of 70s on the long term seven day. So for tonight, again, a couple of showers and storms, and I would say between about 8 and 2 a.m., Part of our area could see some severe storms. It's a small risk, but a risk nonetheless. You see where the, the bigger risk is well to our southwest, and we'll be watching out for some damaging wind and large hail. Tornadoes are not in our conversation tonight. So tomorrow we have some very early morning rain, then sunny skies, cooler conditions. Again, it's not going to be 80 tomorrow. Noticeably different. 60 here in Raleigh, 59 in Durham, 63 in Fayetteville. And your seven day forecast continues that roller coaster ride. So from that 82 today, we're down to 60 tomorrow. 54 is our coldest day Thursday because we're right back up to 66 Friday, 74 on Saturday, and then we're going to keep it now in the 70s Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. As for rain, that 20% chance on Saturday is Saturday night, and then a couple of scattered showers on Sunday with small chances Monday and Tuesday as well. But I'll caution everyone, you walk outside tomorrow morning and think, oh, we made it. It's yeah. only 50 degrees, but Thursday morning is when it's going to be 30 degrees. Aww.